Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Well, I'm sitting here at the uh, Blog World New Media Expo, and uh, while we've got a lull in guests as they kind of walk up and we talk to them, um, you know, I thought we'd answer a few more questions as asked by the community. And this is a YouTube comment from Kev's a Cop, and he asks, "What do you think the successor over the tablet computer will be?" Uh, you know, I don't know, and quite honestly, I don't think anybody knows. Uh, but if I were to uh, guess right now uh, I would say uh, everything's going to become touch enabled everything walls uh, I think are, is going to be the next iteration of a tablet computer instead of carrying it around with you I think it's just going to be there the interface that you need is just going to be built into something in not just something everything I mean we are literally going to be living in Star Trek within the next 10 years I do believe it is possible uh, and I, I think the iteration of computer is going to evolve to the point where we're not going to be strapped to something anymore. It's going to completely disappear. And if you think about the trends uh, of technology, uh, it's, it's always happened this way. Technology, as I've said before, uh, becomes increasingly pervasive instead of just being invasive. Technology is everywhere. Uh, and in terms of how, uh, you know, our lifestyle is going to evolve uh, even and I think 10 years from now the idea of even carrying around something like this is going to be completely foreign uh, you know we're just going to have it there uh, to the point where it may be something where we wear on our ear uh, and maybe something that we have a readout and everybody wears glasses again and the glasses that we have has a heads-up display and we're able to just talk to it and say do this do that do this I've dreamed of a day where I could have a pair of glasses, prescription or not, uh, sunglasses maybe, who cares, uh, where I can have a heads-up display, where I can always see the time over here, uh, where I could talk to it and, and just have it search for something. I'm like, I'm looking for good you know, Italian food. This is where I'm at right now. I'm actually geophysically in New York City right now for the expo. And I think that is going to be the next iteration. We're just going to have it there, whether it's floating in front of us in a virtual heads-up display through some type of device that we wear, uh, whether it's cybernetics, uh, but I, I, you know, something along those lines. You know, every wall is a different experience, or some th something on our body, uh, you know, basically beams the, the the interface to whatever surface uh, we happen to be, you know, in front of. And I don't think this is, you know, that that much of a stretch. Uh, you know, the, the, this, this is what it. Oh my God, sorry, I like turned yellow. <laughs> I, suddenly, I'm jaundiced. I don't know. Maybe the uh, this is this uh, webcam is not liver compatible. Let me give you a, there you go white balance again. Sorry, it's really weird, very awkward. I apologize for that. Won't happen again. He, maybe we just need a better webcam. That's all. This happens to be a FaceTime HD webcam, and it it, it does a good job, decent enough that we're able to live stream in widescreen ratio. But uh, the the white balance locking it down sometimes can be a challenge. Either way, uh, assuming we can move past these webcam problems at some point in the future, uh, I think the tablet computer is going to disappear. The idea of a computer is going to disappear. It's going to be even more pervasive. Those are my thoughts. Uh, maybe you have different thoughts. Maybe you agree. Maybe you disagree. I don't know. It's completely up to you. Uh, Either way, ask a question in a YouTube comment. Uh, feel free to follow up with a video response. Uh, feel free to, uh, you know, at Chris Perillo on Twitter, uh, Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo, uh, Chris.Perillo.com, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, of course, we've got the live video feed, and even if I'm not doing anything in front of it, uh, usually there's a chat room involved, and you can find it 24 hours a day, seven days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.